What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia and today I'm sharing another extreme closet declutter with you all. We are over at my friend Shelby's house to tackle two small closets and a dresser. So you know that means there will be tons of deep cleaning, decluttering, and organizing motivation. Make sure to stay tuned until the very end because I will be sharing some satisfying before and after shots. If you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and let's jump right on into it. You all know whenever I tackle a project like this, I always try to follow the KonMari method to declutter as best that I can. And the first step is to remove everything from the space just so that it forces you to touch it and decide whether it's worth keeping or not. We have a lot of work ahead of us, so we are just starting in the main closet and removing all the clothes and bins that she currently has in there. We just have to believe it. I know I mentioned we are over at my friend Shelby's house, but I'm sure if you've been following me for a while, you would have cut on that this is not my apartment. I do share a lot of cleaning videos at my own home, but I've also shared a few videos over the last few months where I went up to my mom's house and shared some serious deep cleans. And you all seem to really love those styles of videos, which is why I'm over at my friend Shelby's house today. And I'm just gonna be here to help her deep clean, declutter, and organize her small closets and her dresser. Right now we are emptying their main closet and it's very small so we are removing everything and doing our best to categorize the clothes into piles of ones that she wants to keep, ones that she wants to get rid of, and then also a third pile of clothes that she just wasn't sure about yet. We will be revisiting that pile later on when we start organizing and she will have to make a final decision. The goal today is to declutter any clothes that she just doesn't wear or she's had for many, many years, got good use out of them, and it's just time to part ways. I feel like a lot of times we hang on to things because of the memories or maybe because we just had it for so long and we just don't want to get rid of it. And I'm not saying that you should get rid of everything that's sentimental, but at the same time, I know I've personally hung on to things because it has some sort of sentiment and I never wear it, I have no intentions to wear it again, and it kind of just gets stored away and takes up space. So if you are in the process of downsizing or decluttering, or maybe you have plans to start really soon, try to part ways with things that you no longer need or part ways with items that just don't give you joy and make you feel good. That's a big reason why the KonMari method suggests you pull everything out just so that you're forced to touch it and make that decision. Right now, Shelby is also going through and emptying these few smaller dressers that she kept in her closet for storage. And once she gets those completely empty, we will be removing them. Ideally, she would like to keep her clothes hamper in her closet instead of moving those pieces back in to use as storage. Closet number one is completely empty and now it's time to wipe everything down and really get this area clean. We use the Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray to wipe down the walls, the shelf, the clothes rod, and also the door. When Shelby and Matt moved in here, the closet door had this like corkboard square thing on the back of their closet door and it's something that she wanted to remove. And once we did that, the dust behind it was no joke. It's amazing how much dirt and dust can like really accumulate in a space like this. If you guys are loving today's video, I would really appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up and also hitting that red subscribe button down below. 
Also, if you guys love decluttering and organizing videos just like this, please comment down below what you want to see from me next. It could be a specific room, like maybe a bedroom declutter or kitchen, or it could be a specific place, like more of a small closet or pantry, maybe even a garage clean out. That might be fun. Also, maybe you guys have a space in your home that causes you some trouble or you just don't know where to start. Let me know what room or space that is down below in the comments and I will add it to my list of things to try and tackle. I love switching things up for my normal apartment cleaning videos and I know you guys like that as well and sharing fun projects like these. So any input or ideas that you guys have, let me know down below in the comments. I know we have the one closet completely cleaned out and emptied, but before we start organizing anything, we are going to completely clean out every closet and dresser just so that we know exactly what we're working with and can figure out a solution that makes it the most functional. This side closet is also used as extra storage and also a partial linen closet. Their bathroom is right across the hallway and there's not really a designated linen closet in their bathroom, so this has a multi-purpose. When we start to organize, I'm hoping we can figure out how to share this closet, but separate the two. Closet number two is officially emptied and we have a massive pile of clothes just waiting to be organized. First, we need to wipe down this closet to make sure it's really clean and then up next is to unpack all of the clothes that are in their dresser. We quickly realized that there was not much room left on the bed for clothes that we needed to unload from the dresser, so we decided to bag up the clothes that she no longer wanted and will be donating.
in case anyone is curious, I've known Shelby since the fall of 2013. I met her during my freshman year of college and she has been such a great friend of mine since then. Shelby is also an elementary art teacher and is super creative. She made a lot of pieces for Marshall and I's wedding this last summer and can honestly pretty much do anything. If you want to check out some more of her work, you can find her on Instagram or on Etsy at Honeybee Clay and Co. And I will have her info linked down in my description box. As you can tell, they don't have a lot of space in their bedroom, so Shelby beforehand decided to purchase a new dresser that was a little bit taller instead of like so long. She ended up finding one on Facebook Marketplace, which is an awesome place if you guys are looking for cheaper furniture or just don't want to pay full price on something. She painted the dresser white and added gold knobs just to make it look as similar as possible to her current one. Shelby and Matt have lived in this house since October, and this was the first time that she had moved her dresser, so there were a ton of dust bunnies underneath. Here is your reminder to clean under your furniture and not just around it, especially now that it's spring, it's the perfect task to add to your spring cleaning checklist. In a minute, you will see her wipe down all of her baseboards, even those things were dusty and dirty. I would love to know if you all have any decluttering or organizing projects on your to-do list. Let me know down below in the comments. I personally have quite a few that I'm hoping to tackle within the next few months. I just really need to find the time, or I guess I should say I should make the time and also find the motivation to do them. The two small closets and the dresser are finally emptied. We brought the new dresser in and it is finally time to start organizing all the clothes. And we are starting with the dresser first. Shelby had a lot more clothes that were hung up than Matt did. So she designated one drawer to her stuff and then left the rest for Matt's clothes. This part was pretty easy because she knew exactly what she wanted in the drawers and how she wanted them folded. So it was just a matter of putting everything back in a nice and organized way. While Shelby and I get all of these clothes put back into the dresser, I'm really curious if any of you guys have tried to follow the KonMari method to decluttering your homes. I know I talk about it every now and then, and I will say I do not follow it to a T, but I do find a lot of the steps super helpful and it at least gives me a good starting point. I feel like sometimes we see these big messes or complete disasters around our homes and we just don't know where to start or even how to start. We just kind of shut the doors and pretend like it's not there. And I will admit at first I would avoid big projects like this because of the work that goes into it. 
But I promise when you see the end results, it is 1000% worth the time and effort that goes into organizing, especially if you do it in a way that's functional to you. You'll end up using this stuff more because you can see it and it also has a place so you know exactly where to put it back when you are done. The dresser is completely done. We have it filled. Everything left on the bed needs to be fit in the two remaining closets that we have. But first, before we do that, I'm making Shelby go through the pile of clothes that we set aside at the beginning that she put into the maybe pile. I'm forcing her to make a decision on whether or not she wants to keep it or donate. Something I always like to add when I share videos like this is you do not need to spend any money to declutter and organize a space. I did a complete small bedroom clean out at my mom's house and I'm not kidding when I tell you that room was a complete disaster and I didn't spend a dime. It is 100% possible, so do not feel like you need to go out and buy new furniture or bins to organize. If you have the extra money or it's something that you want to invest in, then by all means, go for it. Shelby picked up a new dresser, but she did save some money by buying it from Facebook Marketplace instead of brand new. Shelby also picked up a few new bins from, I don't know if they were either Home Goods or TJ Maxx, but she had a specific purpose in buying them and knew exactly that she wanted to use one bin for accessories, one for swimwear, and one for her reusable bags like overnight bags and as you can see before we fill them up we place them in the closet just to see what order made the most sense or I guess how the bins best fit in that space I highly recommend doing this step just in case the bins don't fit or you don't need them all Just to make things look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, we did switch out all the hangers to the same color and Shelby chose the color white. We also made sure to face the shirts in the same direction and then we color coded everything. This is one of my favorite things to do in a closet because it not only looks so much better to the eye, but you can find what you need so much easier. Instead of digging through all of your clothes, if you knew you wanted to wear a specific blue shirt, you could just go to the blue section and find what you're looking for. This is something so simple, completely free, and easy to make your closet look neat and more put together. Once we get the rest of these clothes hung up, we are going to get started on filling those bins that Shelby purchased and then clean up the last few remaining items that were on the bed. Very soon we will be sharing the before and after shots and I cannot wait to see what you guys think. I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful Wanna put you in that spotlight? Look at 
looking at you all night, all night. All right, you guys, here I'm going to be sharing the satisfying before and after shots of everything that we were able to accomplish. In total, it took us about three hours, and I think that's pretty reasonable considering we decluttered two small closets and a dresser. And as you can see, everything is organized and functional. Their side closet, we added white bins that Shelby already had, and we used one for towels and the other for toilet paper. We put them at the top. She even had one extra shelf up there to use as whatever she wants in the future. We also displayed her sweatshirts in a way that she can easily see what she has and made her jeans and shorts easily accessible. Her main closet was my favorite transformation of the day. They had so much stuff crammed in here with no order. So by color coding her clothes, using those matching hangers and these organizational bins with the tops really made this space come together. I would love to know your thoughts on today's transformation. So please let me know down below in the comments what you think. I would also love for you to give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button. If you are looking for some more cleaning motivation, head to my description box because I will have some recent and also popular videos linked down below. Otherwise, you can always head to my channel page and check out any video I've ever created. I wanted to thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend and I can't wait to see you all back here very soon. Bye!